Hey, hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz and today we're going to look at this map, Canyon. Now there are lots of ways to play this map and I'm not saying this is the perfect way but we all know that if you are in a tank that is hauled down and has good gun depression you go to this position. Why? Because then you can spot the majority of the map and it's, it's as simple as that really and it was said by Bushka long ago and it's been repeated by many many others ever since but what if you're in a tank that isn't all down or doesn't have relatively good gun depression what do you do then on this map because going to that position is well useless well like most maps the thing about canyon it's all about team composition predominantly what the enemy team is composed of now I generally see people who start from this northern spawn running up this route in their heavies which is a nightmare because when you get to these tracks if they've sent their mediums to that middle area to spot you are going to get wrecked crossing these tracks is just absolutely suicidal so you don't really want to be going that way not straight off the bat so what should you do well maybe just maybe especially if you're not on supremacy send your tanks this way why well firstly you've got this little spot here if your mediums are there all down with their gun depression then you will get shots across to that cap carry along this route redlining it to where the c cap would be this is it here and again you have got shots all the way across to the middle area now this is if you go from the north spawn and this is if you're in a tank with no gun depression and you also need to look at the other team's composition now the chances are they will send some tanks this way but you've got relatively decent cover here you can move back however don't go anywhere in there that is a death bowl it's a death trap i'm telling you okay there are buildings you can side scrape off there are buildings you can hide behind but once you're in there the enemy can pick you off from their positions so try to avoid this area as much as possible if you can unless of course you've got superiority in numbers then it's okay to do that once you've secured this area you can then push down but my recommendation is try not to push past these wagons or at least the railway lines too much the reason being is because again if they've got tanks over the other side they're gonna smack you well what about if you're coming from the south spawn well again on the south spawn generally if you've got tanks with good gun depression and the haul down capability get yourselves here you are going to spot up almost everything on the left hand side of the map and if you're lucky you will spot them crossing going towards the sea cap but more likely you will spot everything on that left and that's why i'm saying don't send your heavies down there guys because you will get annihilated well what about going to the sea cap from this position well again that's a bit dangerous because once you get to this area here again the tracks you are going to be spotted crossing and it's very flat there is no cover until you get to this building and these set of carriages but you can shoot them between the carriage tracks and there's a big open gap right here that the enemy can smack you. Not only that, if they are if they are coming towards that cap area, they can smack you from that area as well. So try not to push too aggressively over those tracks. You can, however, go this way because if you're spawning on the south spawn, which this spawn is, getting into this area here will allow you to put shots across to that base area. You can also side scrape off these buildings and you know, you pretty much got a lot of cover around it, a lot more cover than on the other side. And if you've got your tanks over there already on that middle cap, anything coming from the North Spawn over those tracks, as I showed you earlier, is A, gonna be spotted and B, going to be absolutely obliterated. You can push further, but don't go past these buildings. The moment you go past these buildings, you are in a world of pain. Everything on the middle area can see you and you are on top of a hill. It's all downhill if you see down to the spawn and you'll just get absolutely wrecked. Avoid at all costs going through the actual canyon. 
This is just a death zone. Great for crossing, don't use it to move because anybody and everybody will be able to annihilate you at some point in time. What about TD positions? Well, there are quite a few good TD positions on this map. First one I would recommend if you're spawning on the North spawn is here. Here you've got some good positioning where you can go haul down. You've got this rock as well that you can get to that will get you anything crossing to that middle area. On the other side, well, a lot of people go to this rock here, which is ridiculously stupid because it offers no cover whatsoever. This position is far better because you can get shots into the middle area and you can move back behind these rocks. I also see some people go to this area. This isn't the best. You're quite exposed, especially if they're coming through that Overang Canyon type thing and from the B cap. Moving across to the other side, well, again, they are limited and you'll generally find that people like to stick themselves on this corner here which isn't the best i mean you can get one shot out here but if you look it's very restrictive you think you've got good cover you don't you've got to come all the way back and you will be hurt so i don't particularly like this position to be honest with you other people like to sit on this corner which offers better protection, better view over onto the B-cap area, but again, it's restrictive. I personally prefer to sit my TD behind this big rock. That way you've still got relatively good open fire down onto the middle area and better cover. The other points, you can put yourself behind this rock where you can see them crossing, but you don't get good shots into the middle area really unless they come up the right hand side. Alternatively, you can cross this little creek. Some people sit here, which is useless because you're not getting any shots across really apart from anything that comes towards the bridge. This rock again is pretty useless. I mean, most TDs are too big. This area here is nice for haul down and you do get some good shots into the middle area. This area there is not that great. But here is not too bad. You can side scrape off the buildings if you can and get across that middle area and you can put some real pain down there. But TD positions on this map really do take some getting used to and you really do need to know the map. Another point to note is at the start of the game, avoid this area like the plague. Do not go in this hole. It is a death trap completely and not worth its while. So let's have a look at some gameplay on this map. So here we go, we're starting on the south spawn and we're gonna to go to the position that I mentioned earlier. But it's important to note, you need to sort of red line it. If you don't, they can get shots across because you will be spotted, especially if you're a heavy. If you're a medium like I am, red lining it like this, generally you won't get spotted unless of course it's something like a Vickers or something along those lines. Once you get to this position, well, you have literally got a turkey shoot on your hands. It's as simple as that. I mean, anything that goes to that middle area, you can effectively farm, although that is a very wayward shot. Now, we've already got a T92 there. Now we've got an Emil and two T28s. We're just gonna sit here and farm them. And that is what we're gonna do. And this is why this side of the map is ideal. Now, however, it isn't always going to work and you need to understand their lineup because if they go this way, then you could be in a world of pain. So it is important guys to read your enemy. Now, when I looked at the enemy list on this particular game, I could see that most of them were gonna to go to the middle and their heavies and TDs were gonna to go towards that A cap and lo and behold, they did. This allowed me to get into a position like this and effectively farm them. I can't farm anymore, they know we're there, so I now need to carry on pushing. Again, I'm staying red line, as you can see, using all the undulations and all the cover that is available to me. Now, the target that I wanna get rid of is the T92, so I'm gonna stay as far away from him as possible, and I'm gonna try and get behind him. He is pushing aggressively up into that area that I said don't go to. Um, especially when you, you've got more guns on the battlefield. We have more guns, it's, it's a risk for him going there. He's gonna get a good shot into me, but I'm gonna get one in return to him. 
He's now effectively a one-shot to the Tiger 2 and to my toonmate, and down he goes. Now the Emil pushes up to try to get one on me. He's not going to get one from that angle. Remember, try not to stay in the canyon when there's more tanks on the battlefield, but I'm going to now stay in the canyon only to get around the back of the E75. And as you can see, with them all contained on the other side of the map, we have effectively been able to literally decimate them. And this is what you need to start to look at. I'm not going to be setting the world on fire in this game. There's no aces or anything. It's just to show you from that spawn, you can still be highly effective going that way, the way I told you. And as you can see here, one tank left, down he goes. We do just over 2,000 damage. We blocked 400. We took one kill and we did a little bit of assistance. That is an ideal way to play that map if you can get that type of team. And now I'm going to show you it from the North Spawn. We're basically going to do exactly the same thing, but from the North Spawn, we're going to head up to that CCAP area. Now, again, I've looked at the team list and I'm anticipating that a lot of their tanks are going to hold back towards their spawn, especially their TDs. And they're going to send some tanks to that B-cap middle area because they've got haul down capability. And I'm expecting the heavies to sort of be around their spawn heading towards the A-cap. So get back to the middle position, cap the base if you can. Now I've got shots all the way over to the B-cap. As you can see, I am unspotted. There is nothing coming down my route at this moment in time. There we go. There's a T-49. We can start farming them. And this is why I love this position. The rocks they also give you amazing cover. Because when you've got a tank like this tank, T-54, which hasn't got the best gun depression, so there's no point in me going to the middle area, you can, with its turret, sit here and effectively bounce. Now, unfortunately, nothing else is coming up. So I'm going to push down towards these buildings as i said i'm staying far far to the red line as well i'm not going to cross the tracks because that is a nightmare remember now i can farm the tiger too i can stay in this little dip i can it still gives me a little bit of protection i'm able to put shots into the standard b he's trying to put shots into me but unfortunately for him he's snapping that's why he's going to bounce me in a moment don't get a good shot in there it goes a bit wayward I'm going to wait for my reload, push up a little bit more, get another shot into him. There we go. And one more just to kill him off. He snaps and that's why he bounces. He's going to snap again and bounce me a further. I take him out. Now the T-44 is going to come through the middle area. Like I said, don't do because he's up on the hill and he's wide open. Even with my five degrees of gun depression, I'm able to put shots into him, although this one bounces. And there we have it. Now the IS-3 is going to push up. Um, he's not going to be able to side scrape effectively off that building and his uh, one of the problems that he's got is that he is also going to snap me and because he snaps shot, shots me he's hitting my turret every time even though he's aiming for my lower plate he's just not able to get the penetration whereas me I'm able to aim for his tracks and try to track him or get to his bottom plate just like that and again he snaps me and bounces now we've got them all contained in this area and we're slowly but surely whittling them down. And as you can see, I have not pushed past the tracks. I am holding here. I've got good cover. I'm able to just pop out and literally farm the other tanks. And this is what you should be looking to do, guys, on this map. This is how you dominate on Canyon. If you got a tank, I mean, seriously, there is no point in me in a T-54 with five degrees of gun depression heading towards the B-cap middle area because it's absolutely pointless. There is n there's nothing I can do with five degrees. And if you're in a tank with relatively bad gun depression, my advice is don't go there. Do what I've just done in both these games, but make sure you read the team composition before you do so. Because if you don't, you could come unstuck very, very quickly. As you can see, we've done just over, just under 4,500 damage here. We actually do 4,369. We get a well deserved ace. That's what I advise. Anyway, I've been fooded. And that has been my overlook on Canyon. A great map and a really, really fun map to play. 
by all means comment and everything below uh, big shout out to all my YouTube members subscribers and patrons without you these videos would be meaningless and if you've got any replays win them across to me food just blitz at gmail.com until the next time guys stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because you know that is what it's all about having fun and being happy